Hey guys, and welcome back to another video tutorial. This time around in 2021, the first official video of the year, I'm going to be showing you a special device that you can use to live stream, and that is the Teradek video device. First things first, let me show you how it looks like and show you how to set it up. As you can see, it's quite a compact, tiny little thing, very light. You can pop it into your bag and travel with it anywhere. On the front, you will find a red button, which is the start slash stop, the menu button. If you turn it to the side, you can plug in your headphones, USB, and there's the switch on and switch off plug. And on the back, even more options. You can plug in an HDMI, your microphone. The top and bottom thing is to attach your camera and right at the bottom you'll find some Wi-Fi details that you may or may not be using. I won't be using it for this video though. So this is how it looks like. Let's switch it on. So once you switch it on, this is what you should be seeing and it's going to attempt to get you online. However, if you have not previously connected to the Wi-Fi or anything, it won't be able to connect you. So simply click on menu and set up your Wi-Fi connection. You have all these options, but I will go with Wi-Fi and scan. As you can see, you have all these networks available. Obviously, you will go with the one that you're using and simply connect. As you can see in the status, it says finding server and you will wait till it says connected and click on next. Now you can choose a platform. We'll be using manual, although you have all these other options, but for this video, manual. So now you will set up your video app. Simply go on your app store, your Google Play and type in video and download it. You will now click on OK to all these pop-ups. It's actually quite important that you do because in order to go live, you actually need to give access to all these settings. Now on the top right corner, you will see the plus sign. Simply click on it and loading device settings will show up. Go to settings network wireless and you've already set up and scanned your wi-fi on your device so this will already be there so go back click on settings broadcast platform and you can now set up a new destination you'll find all these options however for wp stream you will need the rtmp which is the last one at the bottom so in the URL and stream, you're going to type in the server and stream key. Now, this is how you do that. You will have to go to your dashboard, go to WP stream and channels. And here you will simply start a live event. You can also start a new channel if you check out our previous videos, you'll find out exactly how to do that, but I'm simply starting an existing channel. So it's ready to go live. You will click on go live with external broadcaster and you'll find the server and stream key. Now the server, you will copy it and paste it into the URL. Go back, copy the stream key and paste that into the stream. Once you've done that, on the top right corner you will find apply. It's now saving and you can go back 
and you can simply click on broadcast to start your live. However, the problem is that although on your device it shows that you're live, you're not actually streaming anything because you have not connected it. So you're taking the HDMI and plugging it into the back. And with the other end, you are plugging that into your laptop or whatever device you are going to be streaming. As you can see, it is now ready. And here's how you broadcast your live event. Go back to the app and you will see exactly what your laptop screen is showing. So I currently have OBS on. I just entered the website that I'm streaming from and this is how it looks like if I if I set it to large screen. And here's how you stop your live broadcast. So simply go back to the live and click on stop. That's going to stop your event just like that. And that's it on how to set up your video device to live stream. Thank you so much for watching and hope to welcome you back soon.